LA'S UNDERGROUND MUSEUM IS HOSTING A BLACK LIVES MATTER EVENT TONIGHT. THAT'S RIGHT. And ACTIVISTS SAY THAT THEY ARE CREATING A SACRED SPACE TO HONOR ALTON STERLING AND PHILANDO CASTILLO AND OTHERS WHO DIED IN POLICE SHOOTINGS OR IN POLICE CUSTODY. ANDREA FAJI, HE SPOKE WITH uh, ORGANIZERS TONIGHT. SHE IS LIVE IN THE MID-CITY mid -city AREA WITH MORE ON THAT. ANDREA? Jeff and Susie, there were about a couple hundred people who weren't able to get into not to tonight's event that is full. So they just left the area, going to another area to gather. But take a look. We are outside the Underground Museum, an art museum, and it's their policy not to allow the media to go inside, so we, we won't be able to see what's happening inside. But let's take a look at some video we shot earlier. This has been planned for several weeks by Black Lives Matter, but people tonight said it's timely after the recent killings across the country, including Dallas. So we're told there will be an art show, some singing, and then a dialogue between everyone inside about the recent police shooting deaths, including Alton Sterling in Louisiana and Philando Castillo in Minnesota. Also, the killing of the five police officers last night in Dallas, and people we spoke with say they want the violence to stop. All we've ever had were our, our chantings. Uh, we've had uh, megaphones, um, but uh, we have never called for violence. And so this will be in the tradition of the Black Lives Matter movement, uh, peaceful. I operated within a bubble, and then seeing the videos that I saw two days ago woke me up and said, okay, I need to start to question these things. I need to be more active within my community. And so far, everything that we've seen has been very peaceful. There is no security or police officers, at least, that are visible. Jeff and Susie, back to you.